Jerry, we don't pop with some SoFlo Customs and I'm taking us back to the Jurassic Age. Today, we're gonna do a quick little review and see all the highlights on our brand new Apocalypse 4x4 build, the Mega Rex. What is the Mega Rex? The Mega Rex starts with the world's fastest gas production pickup truck, the Ram TRX. It's a 1500 with a 6.2 liter V8 Hemi Hellcat. Now, that puts it at 707 horsepower when you're done with it. But when we're done with it, it's up to 850 horsepower. We achieve this with bigger injectors, a little bit of tuning, and a smaller pulley, so it goes a lot faster. Now, one of the biggest separations between a regular stock Ram TRX and the Apocalypse Mega Rex, boom, 40 inch tires, the most coveted tire a tire that actually fills this thing out and makes it look incredibly aggressive. How did we achieve that? Yet keeping that stock look like we didn't touch anything? Through a few inventive ideas of engineering. One, first and only, we have a custom bumper. We take a bomber bumper and we actually cut it down so it fits on the frame perfectly and allows that massive 40 inch tire to pivot each way with zero rub. Not a little rub, not maybe it touches, no, zero rub on a 40 inch tire. That is impressive stuff. We also have some nice rigid spots in the front as well as some rigid cubes to round it out. But that bumper is what makes the front. Now, let's go to the side. Oh, this is where it gets real mind blowing. This is state of the art engineering. We literally hollow out the entire wheel cradle. Why? Because the original TRS wheel cradle can only accept a 35 inch tire, which what it comes with, right? And to achieve a 35 inch tire on the original wheel well, you gotta raise this thing six inches. That is big, right? We don't wanna do that, why? The TRX, if you ever drive one stock, it's fast and it drives so damn nice. And everything we do at Apocalypse is really to marry onto the existing suspension system so you do not lose any of that luxury that's achieved through factory, but you can still get this massive beast, right? Okay, so then we take out the crate on the wheel, we move it an inch forward, and we still have it married to what I said, that suspension system, which features stunning Bilstein electrical shocks where the reservoir all the way in front of the car. That's something that's even more insane. So we're marrying onto that system. Why do you want to do that and not mess with that bill scene? Because it's state of the art technology. When you actually go to the tablet style infotainment screen, you can switch different off-road modes. And that's what you want to do in the TRX. You want to go to Bajo, you want to go to Sport, you want to go to Mud, you want to go to Rock. You can do it on the fly as you're driving this thing and you want the suspension to adjust because that's the entire point of what we're talking about. So our system marries onto that. Then you take this custom fender, right? Which once again, marries that look of stock, but it's not stock, it's anything but. It's actually crafted by us and color matched and comes with its own liner, which goes right down the back of it. Giant 40 inch tire can now move perfectly and look great while doing it. Let's keep walking. All right, war. What is war? If you know our Warlord build, which is the original TRX we did, we change the letters around, make it say war, add the word Lord on it sometimes, and you got the Warlord. Well, this truck features the same thing on the Mega Rex. We change all the Ram logoing to say war, including the front, which is gonna get a change. Open it up, boom, my favorite. You've heard me talk about it before, but a power step is awesome luxury. Allows you to step into this car, which has only a two inch lift after we get dumped there. Remember factory's got six? We only put a two inch lift on this Mega Rex, which is really freaking cool. Once again, the wheel and how we do the frame allows for a smaller lift, so you still achieve those huge travel speeds and not get wonked out, right? And have this thing drift on you. Coming towards the back, more amazing fender action. Custom, custom, custom. Boom, ready to go. And then we have a look at our buddies at Armadillo, make a great chase rack that we throw on this badass truck. On top, you got some KC lights that show out uh, and are extremely bright, give you that off-road aptitude that you look. Coming to the back, 
We got some more war. War, what is it good for? Building badass trucks at Apocalypse, apparently. Ah, this is another great feature. The custom armor lined bed. You can throw a bunch of stuff back there without scratching your pristine high gloss black paint. That's why we love it. Gives it the pickup look. And look, now you can see from the chase rack beside your KC lights facing forward, we have a 20 inch light bar on the back side to get behind you, right? You wanna do a picnic, you wanna do something in the truck, you got some stuff you're backing up to, you wanna drop a boat in there. Now you got a light that's gonna help you lead the way. All right, that's a lot of talk, right? Jerry's talking once again, a very good game. Now it's time to show you exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna try out that 850 horsepower beast of an engine once we get that one. All right, we're in this Max Cab Mega Rex and I want to show you some really cool features. As I was talking about, the technological aspect of this car cannot go unnoticed. You have locking diffs on front and rear axles, as well as the cool launch mode, which really sends this thing. Now, one of my favorites is right here. You actually put this in its custom modes, right? So if you go over here, you can put it in mud, sand, rock or Baja, sport, a max tow package, a snow package, or it's automatic. And the coolest thing about this is you're seeing the performance in real time. And so you can take a look at even the suspension, which is of course, you know, our specialty is making the suspension absolutely incredible. You can see how it performs as you're doing it. Right now we have it snow, we can put it in sport to really have some fun and showcase the speed of this engine. But that is the important thing. When you make modifications to a truck, including putting 40 inch tires, you do not want to ever affect the functionality of what the original manufacturer intended. That's how you mess up an amazing truck. And you're never gonna get that with Apocalypse. We're always gonna keep that functionality. We're gonna make it absolutely sing. We're going to perfect what the manufacturer could not do, which was of course add 40 inch tires to this beast and do some engine work. Let's go to drive. This thing takes the tightest turns now with 40 inch tires. That is so cool to me. In fact, we're gonna make a U turn right here. I'm gonna cut a few people off. We're gonna sneak right behind this amazing truck, make sure it doesn't jackknife, you know? And look at this turn. Here we go, you ready? Oh my God, look at this, look at this, look at this. Did we make it, folks? Did we make it? We didn't even hit a curb. 40 inch tires making a U-turn and nothing. Nice and easy, just like grandma told you to do it. You make a right over here. Let's really take this thing out, right? Want to see how old Jared drives these trucks? One, gotta do it respectful, but gotta have some fun too. Ooh, man, that pickup is absolutely insane. It's crisp. That engine, you feel that horsepower. You feel what it's like to be a warm-blooded American having some fun with an American-built truck. That's why I absolutely love this truck. Badass engine, badass build, fast and big. Did I just say fast toy? Well, I meant it, I really did. God, I love what I do. So we're gonna make a U-turn, we're gonna take it right off road to make the U-turn. Right, which is why you have these massive tires. This one's got Yokohama G-Landers, which I really like. And then look, boom, nice easy turn. From grass and gravel, from off-road to pavement. Nice and easy. Let's give it one more whirl so we can see this engine. Oh, straight as an arrow, folks. I got one hand on the steering wheel and I'm burning it up. That's what you gotta love. You gotta absolutely love what we do. That suspension works second to none. The aesthetics, amazing. Functionality, top notch.
trucks after driving almost 300 different apocalypse trucks that we built that are on the road today i really love this truck i love it because it has that awesome stock appeal which really placates to trx purists yet it has some functionality that you cannot get anywhere else but with apocalypse so thanks for watching if you love this video make sure you like it make sure you subscribe to our channel make sure you check us out on instagram youtube and tiktok as well as our website where we have beautiful trucks for sale right now